This is a short demo of the Sophia mobile app. For easy user authentication, we have Google sign in. After that, there's a short onboarding process. It automatically picks up the name from the Google account. Next, select your gender and your age group. Now you will be prompted whether to test the connection with your OGD. This is by default configured for a Raspberry Pi device that we are using alongside it. But if you want to connect to any other device, you can turn on the dev mode and provide your configurations. I will be using a different network, so I will just update the host name and save it. On tapping yes, it will connect to the device with which the OGT device is attached. It's successfully connected. Hi there, I am Sophia, your personal yoga instructor. I may not be able to satisfy all your needs, but I am sure I can keep your body and mind healthy. Feel free to ask for help anytime. You just heard from the voice assistant Sophia. Later you can interact with it and get started with any of the poses available. This is the dashboard of the app. On top, there's an overview of the user's performance along with an expandable panel where you can get a list of all the asanas you have performed this week. Then we have the beginner's track poses laid out. We recommend users to get started with them first. Scrolling down, you will find all the yoga tracks. You can navigate inside them to get access to all the poses. Let's go to the beginner's track because this is the track we have tested thoroughly over months and also this track will be available for free when the app goes into production. You can tap on any of the poses to get an overview of them along with some of the important benefits listed here. Now let's check out the voice assistant Sophia. Hi Sophia. Hey, you can explore all the tracks on this home page. Let me know when you are ready to start. Let's get started with triangle pose. Starting with triangle pose. This will start the triangle pose. I will go back for a moment to show you the other method of starting a pose. You can go to the post description page and tap on the play button. Now let's dive into the amazing demo of the pose recognition. You are about to get started with the pose. Make sure your entire body is within the camera frame. It will check whether you are aligned to the camera and within its field of view before starting the pose. Start by standing tall with your arms relaxed at your sides. Take a big step back to the right and place your right foot pointing forwards and your left foot pointing out to the left side. Try to align both heels with each other and balance your weight equally across both legs. Keep pressing into your feet, rolling your right hip back, drawing the belly in and allowing both sides of the torso to extend forward. Stay here for at least five long and deep breaths. Checking your pose. Please hold the pose for a moment. You can see the accuracy of your pose on the screen. To release, press firmly into your feet and use the strength of your abdomen to come back to standing again. Step from here, your right foot back next to the left and then repeat on the left side. Stay here for at least five long and deep breaths. Checking your pose. Please hold the pose for a moment. You can see the accuracy of your pose on the screen. Gaze back towards your navel, keeping the chin tucked into the chest. Stay in the pose for at least five long and deep breaths. Checking your pose. Please hold the pose for a moment. You can see the accuracy of your pose on the screen. Once you're ready to come out, gently lower the knees back to the ground and come back to your hands and knees. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the downward facing dog pose with 90.4% accuracy.
You will now be returned back to the home screen in a moment. You can go to your profile for some analytics of the current week. You can view all the poses you have performed along with their accuracy, stars and duration. Next you have the target section. Here you can set your weekly targets. In the settings section you can modify the whole duration of the poses. It's basically the duration for which the post checking takes place. Also you can edit your profile from this page.